Okay, this is the video for 6.2 shaft support. We're in metric. Open up my origin sketch. And I'm going to start out with that base. And what we have is an 80 millimeter circle in the middle. And I also have a radius of 22 on the end, so I'm going to type in 44 here and 44 here. Now let's set our distance. It is 100 millimeters from center point to center point, 100 inner, and I'm going to dimension from this center to this center 50. And now I'm going to draw a line from here. I'm going to get my tangent symbol there. I'm going to come up and make this circle tangent with that line. Get another line here. Tangent. Tell you, I'm just going to go ahead and draw all the lines first. Come back to that. Alright, tangent symbol. I want to make sure I'm tangent there. And that tells me it already knows that. I want to be tangent here and there. Here and there. Here and there. And it already knows that one. Let's just cancel it. And it should already know that one. Yep. Okay. Now let's see if we can straighten this back up. Type in zero. And I'm just going to check this one to make sure it didn't move. And it did not. So I'm going to hit escape. Okay, now I can trim. Trim out everything inside. Finish sketch. Go home, extrude up 18 millimeters. Enter. Okay, now I'm going to put a sketch on the top of this. I get my rectangular command, and I'm just going to drop this in anywhere because I'm going to put proper dimensions on it. Dimension. And it is 18 wide, 18 enter. And it is 67 long. And I need to dimension from the center, from one of these sides, 9 to straighten it up. And I need to go from center to this end, 67 divided by 2. Enter. Finish sketch. Extrude that rectangle up. And the height to the center of that top circle is 76. But that's from the top surface. Actually, that's from the bottom surface. We have to subtract the 18 from the 76. So I'm going to type in 76 minus 18. Enter. Put another sketch on this. And I'm going to turn it around and straighten it up. And I'm going to put a circle. I'm going to run along here until it turns green, find the center. And I'm going to type in 46. Enter. Okay, I can, let's see, do, what do I want to do? I think I'll just run that solid. So I'm going to finish, and I'm going to extrude this. And because I'm starting on one side here, and i got to come out on the right side, and I also have to go back. If, if it were both equal, I could use this one. But since they're going to be different, I'm going to have to use the asymmetric. Okay. The distance on one, the overall is 40. And I have 18 here 
So this one may be 11. And that one, let's turn it around here, is going to be set at 29. Hit OK. S because I have, if you do the math, I got 11 sticking out here. I got 18 here plus 11 there. And that gives me 40. OK. Now I'm going to put another sketch here. And I just like to straighten that up. Circle. And the inside is 30. Enter. Finish sketch. Go to extrude. Cut. Choose that inside. And you can just go here and say all. Hit OK. Straighten it up. Put another sketch here. Straighten it up. And what I'm going to do is take my line command and come to this point where it turns green. Go up to this point, to this point, and back down. And I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to do all both sides at the same time. Let's see if it'll work. Finish sketch. Go home. Extrude. Cut. Choose that one that one choose all hit OK okay now we have a couple radiuses we have to put in and it says rounds and fillets are three um, sometimes we run into a problem with this one with the fillets but I'm gonna start out with three and I'm gonna choose that surface and hit apply I'm gonna try this one and hit apply I'm gonna do one at a time to make sure works and we're going to hit apply and sometimes when we try this three it gives us this error so I cancel that and I and we'll drop back to two and see if two will work and apply if that doesn't work cancel it let's try one spin it around to the other side apply cancel okay you can come back here I should have caught that try three catch the underside apply try this side and apply cancel okay all we have left drop these holes in so I'm going to sketch this surface and we're going to use the same center line, so it's pretty easy. Just so, just come here. The center mark's already there, and we have a 15 millimeter hole here, and a 15 millimeter hole there. Hit home, finish sketch, extrude, cut, one, two, all. Okay, and there you have. Exercise 6.2, the shaft support.